baby. See that freaky stuff. Sell one of my bed and keep paint up. That hand sling girl, let him eat me up. Uh, 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 uh. So here we are. Okay, so for this video, I had um, nothing planned. I put up a poll on Instagram, and you guys decided that today was going to be a story time video. So uh, I guess now is as good a time as ever to tell the biggest story of my life but before we get into that um let me just say hi how are you thank you for coming back to see me again this week i i really am trying to start out this whole new era of you know just making content and things like that and i'm glad that you came to see me again while i'm doing so so just for that i just want to say thank you but then again um oh also i have to address the elephant in the room um yes i yes the braces are gone um and if you want to stare in my mouth this entire video you're more than welcome to do that because i can't see you staring into my mouth and to be honest with you i'm probably gonna stare into my mouth the entire time i edit this video but that's my prerogative not yours for those of you who this is your first time seeing me hi hello i used to have braces and if you watch any of my past videos you would know that um and go be a real fan and go watch the rest of those for me do it now I said do it now. Now see, that's 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 aggressive. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I, but uh, I'll wait. Are you doing it? All right. Now, now that those people are gone, um, to go watch the rest of those videos. If you didn't watch last week's video, yes, I am making content again. Now that I've made my colorful return, it's time to back to schedule programming. So this story was from when I was like 16 or 17, I believe. It was a while ago, and like I was gonna write this out at first, but then I was like, you know what? Um, let's just try to see what all I can remember on the spot, and if it takes me 50 million years to edit this video, I'll know why. Um. <laughs> okay. So listen, hear me out. Um, so basically, um, let me start off by saying, um, don't do what I do. Just do as I say, not as I do. I was a very interesting young person. So let's be real here. If I was meant to be a role model, I wouldn't have done any of these things. But you know, I came here to entertain, not to be a role model. <laughs> Here's where we are. Oh, let me preface this story by saying this, just so that you know, the names are made up. The story is real, but the names of course are made up because uh, let me preface this story by saying, I signed three NDAs for this night. For this night, everything that happened like almost everything that happened I'm technically not legally allowed to talk about but at the same time I have a legal loophole where I can just tell this story without any of the without any of the important like any of the the distinguishing information and as long as I don't tell any of the distinguishing information the lawyer has advised me that I can still tell said story online um if, if, if the two bitches that I'm talking about in part of this video are watching this video, don't watch it. All I'm gonna do is bash you the entire time. I really don't understand why you would be watching this video. It wouldn't be a great idea on your part because I'm gonna bash you the entire time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bash you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I should have done and beat your fucking ass. Okay, so listen. Now that I've gotten the preface of this story out of the way, now let me start off by saying this. This was right around, right after my breakup in this really weird toxic relationship that I was in. So let's just start off by saying, your boy was hurt. It, it was, it was hard. Listen, it was hard for me because I was in shambles. I'm not even gonna lie. I was completely in shambles. Like I was out this bitch listening to goddamn Billie Eilish. Uh, it was don't smile at me at the time. Me over there just fucking in shambles, not crying, just sad. I don't, cause, cause one thing that we not gonna do, we don't cry over nobody. Uh, Shut up, D whoever just said yes, I do. You be quiet, mind your business. I do be crying though. I be crying over some shit. Yes, I do. But then I wanted to take my mind off of it, so I went out with my. I decided to to hang out with my two friends, who shall be named thus forward as. All right, we just gonna go with Casey and Maria because the the I don't know no Casey or no Maria, so let's just do let's just do what it do. I decided to go over my friend Casey's house for the night, and we had this other mutual friend named Maria, so we went over Casey's house. Casey has like not not big money, like not mansion money, but living in the suburbs with a nice house kind of money. Your parents have five bedrooms and it's only one of you type shit like it's i think they i think she had like an older brother but that's about it like it was just there were like five or six bedrooms and they only had two kids i'm very confused 
that's none of my business though a little background casey's dad was a lawyer and her mom was like a real estate something or another anyway so i'm chilling at casey's house that night and I, uh, we were talking about like going out to the club or whatnot they had the fake ids i never had the fake ids for some reason they just for some reason whenever we would go anywhere it would be like this weird thing where they would just let me go in because i was with the yeah so they, they would just let me in with them just because that particular night they chose one particular club that i'm not gonna not gonna say the name of because then you'll be able to go see when this night was based off of something else so no no i'm not gonna tell you when exactly it was that's why i gave you a ballpark age i didn't give you my exact age because i know that there's somebody who's gonna figure it out and absolutely not um if this video blows up especially it's gonna it's gonna be found out and i don't have time for it to be found out so we had pre-gamed and by pre-gamed i mean i was drugs drinking all of it everything i uh, i think that night i started off with it was bacardi it was this whole bottle of bacardi bacardi pineapple that's what it was it was bacardi pineapple i was just drinking that shit not even gonna lie there was there was you know some of that um a savage cabbage we had some savage cabbage um a little bit of the savage cabbage you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it you get it you get it you picking up what i'm putting down yeah now if anybody else don't get it you don't need to know so like me personally whenever i'm like super cross i just turn really 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 well i'm charismatic on a normal basis you know like i'm good at speaking talking enunciating um exaggerating doing everything that i possibly can to make myself seem as entertaining as possible i was chilling i was ripe for the night and i was ready to go so i i leave my phone at home like not at home but at casey's house because my idea for the night was to get completely obliterated i didn't want there to be a chance that i was gonna send any special text messages to anybody so basically what i did was i, I left my phone I'll admit, I left my phone and I'll do it again. <laughs> and I'll do it again. I hop in an Uber. I don't remember how long it took to get there. We spent a long time at this club. And me personally, I'm feeling so charismatic that I somehow talked several people into buying me drinks even though i was already damn near obliterated so it was like literally had everybody feeling like t-pain around that bitch i'm gonna buy you a drink yes but this one couple started buying me drinks and they kept buying me drinks and they kept buying me drinks and since you know i was absolutely obliterated when they started talking to me i just agreed to whatever they were asking <laughs> so like they told me about this party that was happening at an undisclosed location that was being thrown by this undisclosed person who um you know they got big money rich money big rich mansion money mansion money big big money big fat checks big large bills <laughs> this big money bit is throwing this big ass party and like only the best people are gonna be there so basically after that they asked me did i want to come with them and you know since i'm completely cross and feeling very accommodating i look at them and i go uh-huh yeah what? totally let's let's go so then i go find casey and maria and i'm like casey maria bitch there's this party going on and it's 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 it's, it's ed <laughs> But I wasn't making sense, and also they thought that I was just clearly hallucinating. So they were just confused, thought I was lying. So then I bring the couple over, and they're like, "Yeah, no, it's a real party, whatever, whatever." They're like, "All right, so before before you go, you're gonna be our guest because we're already invited. We we already told them that you were coming with us, so we have to forward you the NDAs." And I was like, "The who now?" Being as accommodating as I was, I said, "Where do I sign? <laughs> Give it to me now." You said you want my kidneys, you can have them. I'm drunk as fuck. I will give you whatever you want. After all of that, one of my friends calls the Uber and we just we all get we all pack into this like Uber black SUV and it's this big ass black SUV. It's like one of those rich people ones and then we get to the party. As soon as I go in there, I head straight for the kitchen because I done been drinking a lot and I have not eaten. And one thing that I don't want to be is sick in the morning. So I went and ate and drank water because I was like, I'm not gonna wake up dead as if you could wake up dead you can't wake up dead you you either are alive or you dead you won't wake up if you dead you can eat you so i'm just like i'm i'm eating and i'm drinking some water but i'm still drink i'm still taking shots because i'm not trying to go i'm not trying to kill my vibe so i'm still taking shots whatever um so then i'm i'm talking with a couple who invited me there we're talking about their 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 relationship and how open their relationship is and blah 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 and everything whatever low-key i felt like they were hitting on me the entire time and they were and they were and they were and me i'm just smiling mad hard talking and talking and talking
just talking and talking and talking. Like, I break off to go find my friends again because, you know, I don't want to be that friend that just leave their friends. So I went to go find Casey and Maria again. I go find Casey and I'm like, where's Maria? And she's like, Maria's up there with so-and-so doing whatever the fuck. And I'm like, yeah, I'm over here with the couple. I'm still talking to them. They're the only people I know here and they're the only people that I really want to talk to around this bitch. So it's just like, yeah. So I'm talking to Casey and I'm like, Casey, I'm going to go hang out with the couple in the kitchen again. Let me know when you find Maria. Whatever, whatever. During this time, that what was happening off screen while I was talking to this couple was that they seen they seen this one dude who they who they really was fucking with. We gonna call him. Uh, we just gonna call him Mr. Right. They both are like really into like Mr. Right. I talked to him. He was pretty chill. But at the same time, uh, Mr. Right ain't nothing to be worried about. He really not that right. That's all I'm saying for what's about to happen next. While I'm talking to this couple or whatever, they both like this guy or whatever. So they like whoever he talks to the most. Blah blah whatever. They trying to basically form some type of situation where it's like I get him if this and i get him with if that and it's like why y'all why y'all why why y'all want the same dick why you want the same dick okay listen um my camera ran out of storage so anyways yeah while all of this mr right shit was going on i was still in the kitchen talking to this couple like one thing led to another i don't really know how we got on this subject they started talking about a menage a trois a menage a trois that included me and me being the whore that i am i was like say less you know like I'm, I'm dead ass just over here like yeah this this is a big house it has a lot of rooms no one knows where anyone is but there were a lot of places that were blocked off like this was a big house like they had wings like there was a west wing and east wing we went into one of these bedrooms i'm real comfortable because i am under the influence so since i'm under the influence i'm comfortable as fuck it starts with a little bit of a little bit of the kissing and then we, we move on to we move on to some of the other stuff. Things are happening. <laughs> We're going in. The music is great, actually. For this activity, I'm just, um, I'm like damn near blackout status. Like right before blacked out, just fucking obliterated, having fun, doing whatever. But, you know, I the music kind of cuts out. The music cuts out, and I hear bitches yelling. And I'm just like, God damn. I didn't even get to finish. I just be doing stuff for other people at first. So, you know, I just be like, I was doing stuff for them at first, you know, just for them, you know, getting them there a few times, a few times. Once I'm done, I'm done. That's it. That's why I, I, I make, I try my best to have y'all have fun first, you know, because when I'm done, I'm, I'm leaving now. It's my turn for organism. And guess what? The music cut out. I was like, oh, why is the music up? This is, now this is just like, kind of boring. Low-key kind of boring. I get bored very easily. And I hear bitches yelling. And I'm like, damn, this is a big-ass house. How I can stare here? And then I I recognize the voice. And I'm like. <laughs> Fuck. Now I gotta go. I hear Casey. And like, she's screaming. Screaming. And like, she's crying a little bit. And I'm just like, damn. You really crying over dick right now. And like, she cut off the music. She cut off the music. So now everybody else vibe is killed. She don't went up to the DJ and unplugged some shit. So it's taking him a while to get the shit back, back to where it was. So she didn't kill the whole fucking party just so that she could have this screaming match with fucking Maria. And so her and Maria are over here having this fucking screaming match about how she deserved Mr. Right. No, I wanted Mr. Right. And Mr. And Mr. Right is just over here loving this shit. Standing all over there on the sidelines. Like, yeah, I got two bitches fighting over me. Oh, fuck. This shit is sick. I walk over there. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like that instantly blew me. Not only did I not get to finish my activity, and now I have to come down here, but I have to deal with YouTube bitches who are arguing over dick. There's a whole lot of dicks in this park. Why y'all want the same one? He wasn't even that cute. He wasn't worth it. He wasn't worth the fight. I literally told him straight up, he's not even that cute. Why the fuck are you arguing? Like, this is some bullshit. And y'all don't fuck up my damn shit and now you know what i'm ready to go they're still arguing as we're leaving because now not only are, am i i'm i'm willingly leaving they're getting kicked out i'm willingly leaving with them but they're getting kicked out because they fucked up the music because by this point security has come over and they were just like yeah you gotta go you gotta go you're like you gotta go because y'all are disrupting everything i don't know what's happening 
it's whatever bye bye i was giving you my rating on the threesome that's what was happening it was uh, i i give it a solid eight out of ten um it was way better than that time i almost got into an orgy but that's another story for another day <laughs> how i ended up there um involved these bitches too and this is why i never go out with these bitches ever again <laughs> these bitches get me into some shit every single fucking time but it's always some story worthy shit we're waiting on this uber this uber black and these bitches decide that they want to tussle and me personally like me now i don't break up fights i don't break up fights because if you hit me we're fighting so i'm just gonna not include myself in whatever shit y'all had going on my captain save a whole looking ass was over here trying to break up the fight when i try to break up the fight when bitches hit me in my face and my drunk ass just let it go they're fighting on the sidewalk someone calls the police i don't remember who called the police but me melanin efficient when i seen blue lights i made a run for it so this is a like next to the next to the house is like around the house is surrounding neighborhood books it i book it like i book it but i book it around the house through the backyard and i jump a couple of gates I, i'm trying to put the most distance between me and this police car like every single time you run cops just chase you they chase the person running because they think that they're, they're the guilty one but me personally i just didn't want to deal with any of this shit i'm like running i'm just doing the fucking dash i'm jumping gates i'm doing everything that i can these bitches didn't have no pockets so i had cases these house keys gates like I, I i i my arm gets caught up here and i like scratch it like all the way down here which is why i have a tattoo here now and i don't know how i did it because i'm not really that good at jumping gates so it was just like i'm running and i guess the adrenaline kicked in and i was just like I, I jumped a few of them and I fell on the last one, but I got my ass back up and I got the fuck on. <laughs> All right. So I've, I've run like, I think there had to be a couple of blocks because them bitches, I, I, I ran so far that like, I, I found the Uber. I just ran up to it and I was just like, you're the Uber for me. And then he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, me, me. And I got in the car. We rolled by them. And they're over there with the cop in handcuffs sitting on the curb and shit. And me personally, I wasn't vibing. I went back to Casey's house. I'm not even going to lie. I just went back to her house. So, boom, I'm back at Casey's house. I unlock the door. Her parents are asleep. Um, They're asleep. And I go to her room. I get my phone. The first thing I do is call an Uber. And I'm waiting on my Uber. It takes like 20 minutes. And her mom wakes up. And she comes out. And she starts talking to me. And I'm like, yeah. So there were, I don't know where, I don't know where they are. Like, what happened? I just kind of left early. I just dipped out of the party earlier. Trying to sound as sober as humanly possible after that i go home and i and i, I mean, i'm getting texts and calls the next morning not only from them but from the from the from the couple from the night before because they're like and, and so casey and maria are texting the little group chat that we had or whatever they were like where were you we went to we went we had to spend the night in jail da, 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 blah, blah, blah. and then i was like i i i ran i wasn't going with y'all like i was not going with y'all i don't i don't i don't feel like it i don't feel like this tonight i'm not getting detained and still to this day i've never been detained because that's not the way that it is and i'm glad that i took the high road that night when it came to the whole fighting thing because when that bitch hit me i was more inclined to jump in and hit her ass but then i realized that is what saved me not jumping in is what saved me when them cops was coming they didn't see them because they were still fighting i seen them because i wasn't fighting i was I, I i stopped trying to break it up i was just gonna wait until they got tired or until the uber got there and i was gonna be like all right now come on before we get left i go over to casey's house because i'm like i'm like whatever whatever and i heard her dad lawyer man since i was there something 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 blah 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 so non-disclosure I sign it, whatever. So basically, they try to blame it on me. The whole thing, just the whole thing. When I was, when I was, oh, they were like, it's because you weren't with us. Like, if you were with us, we probably wouldn't have even been fighting over the, because then you would have been there and then blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, why do I have to babysit you bitches? Like, why do I have to babysit you bitches for y'all not to fight over it? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Next week's video is going to be a Reddit video. So I really, give me suggestions on subreddits to go on for next week's video leave a like on this video follow me on here these videos are unlisted on youtube if you just want to listen to them in the background and you have youtube premium or whatever um if you just want to listen to them in the background you can follow the link i always put super secret video at the top of my youtube videos if you go on the navigation panel on my website you can just go and you can watch the super secret youtube video turn on post notifications
so that you get notified whenever I post another video. With that being said, drink, drive, but not at the same time. Have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video next week. Don't be friends with stupid bitches. Bye.